with crack a lack in YouTube. Oh god. You guys enjoyed my last video. You thought that was a good one, and you are just getting a little taste of what is to come. Yes, I did find some really cool stuff in that last video in Colorado, but when I returned home from my trip, this little box was waiting for me. This is 13 hats that I paid $130 for. And I know that might sound a little ridiculous to pay 10 bucks per hat for a little hat lot, but there are some amazing hats in here that I am super glad to add to my own personal collection. So I used to wear a hat almost every single day because I was growing my hair out and then with teaching, I cut all my hair off. Uh, but now I'm trying to grow my hair back out again. Bruh. And one thing that I love about vintage hats is that there is like a hat to go with every vintage t-shirt. Okay, not every vintage t-shirt, but a lot of like shirts have matching hats to go with them. So anyway, yeah, in this video, I'm gonna open up a little hat bundle. Um, two of them are for me and the rest of them I'm gonna try to resell onward, upward, and onward. Adding a little twist though to this video just to make it fun, just to make it interesting. You can now, yes, you can now win money by watching my YouTube videos. Um, just to kind of switch things up a little bit, I'm going to nonchalantly switch hats multiple times throughout this video. And if you comment the correct number of hat changes that I perform throughout the length of this video, all the way till the end, then I will PayPal or Venmo you five bucks. Just for a little fun, uh, if you can get it right, I'll do a little YouTube random generator. I'll pick a name and then if that name or if that comment has the correct number, in it for hat changes. I'll DM you on Instagram and uh, give you five bucks because why not? So, this is hat two, one. Now we're on two. And you can continue counting from here. How many hat switches do I have? Or I guess to clarify, how many hats do I have on my head in the length of this video? My last video, you guys really enjoyed it. Uh, you guys ran it up with the views. Awesome, thank you. But it only got like 48 likes, so I want to improve, you know, that's the goal is always to improve. So if this can get 49 likes, I'd be happy. So make that happen, please and thank you. All right, dang, there are some goodies in here. Where do I even start? I need to put this down somewhere. Here's a quick little look at what I gotta go through. And um, I need a show. Big, big shout out to this guy who hooked this deal up. He's a fellow Iowa boy. I'll put his at right here. Uh, thanks again, man. I am stoked for some of these hats and then I'll try to Flip a couple of them. We will start it off with this little green NASA hat. It's the lime green colorway, the black embroidery on it. It's got the old trucker strap, I call this little thing here. Simple snaps in the back and just a little bit of wear on the back. Never seen a green NASA one. I've seen like the blues and the whites. Actually, there is a white and a black one in here. Uh, I think this green one will be the more expensive one. Speaking of NASA hats, here's the white one. So this is the white, this is like the silky smooth material that you got up here, again with the trucker strap. This one is a little bit dirty on the top side, but again, beautiful yellow embroidery. And this one has the original price tag on it, $6.55. I think I can sell these NASA hats, hopefully from anywhere like 20 to 30 bucks a piece, maybe 20 bucks on this white one. This black one has a little patch though with the embroidery and then the, the little floral embroideries down there. I think this one is in the roughest condition of all of the NASA hats. But yeah, three NASA hats, 10 bucks a piece. Those were the ones I kind of threw in at the last second of this deal. All right, moving on, we have a Universal Studios Florida hat. This one also has a nice little embroidery. I love the colors on this little black hat. Of course, the nice Universal tag there. And this one's dead stock too. Wow. I wonder where he got all these. Yeah, this one's really cool. A lot of people are into Disney and like Universal Studio t-shirts right now. So if you need the hat to go with it, I'm your guy. Up next, we have a Bass, a Bass Angler Sportsman Society. I thought this was a Bass Pro Shop hat, but it's just got a thick embroidery. It's not Bass Pro Shop, but I think, you know, Bass Pro Shop is really popular with like YouTubers and influencers and even country music stars. And just, you see them on celebrities a little bit. So I think this one will still do all right. This one's kind of different too. It's a little more unique, but super cool color, a nice thick embroidery. You gotta love that. Okay, this one and this one. Wowzers, I gotta save these two for the end. These two are in rough condition. 
How about we just go ahead and do the Harley one next? I was iffy on buying this one because it looked a little shallow in the pictures, like a shallow hat. Uh, it's not too bad, actually. And I love Harley Davidson hat with the pinstripes. Pinstripes adds a little bit of character to everything. So uh, you got to appreciate it. Here's a nice little close-up action of this hat. Nice little embroidery there. Pinstripes, you got the green bill on the back and of course guys if you're interested in any of these hats then you just need to dm me on instagram at bob dabber that's where you can get all the steals and the deals this hat is a little bit of a banger as well wow this is dead stock also look at that bass pro shop this is the floral the crazy floral print uh, this is like a true trucker snapback i love this one i think this one will do very well i've never seen a bass pro shop floral hat like this before let me give you guys just a little bit of a close-up here you almost have like a little bit of a puff paint action on this little logo but then the floral print look at those colors look at those colors now this is a tough decision because you can see some dust here on the snap but it's dead stock. So like, do I take the tag off and wash it or do I just sell it as it is, you know? It's tough, but nice little tag there. Honestly, the, this has never been worn, clearly never been worn, just got a little dust on it. Okay, the last three hats I think are gonna be for my own little personal collection here. We're gonna start with this one. Again, it's dead stock and it's just really dusty. Like there's the original tag, super nice colors. This even has the, the cardboard in the hat still, but it's just, dusty there's dust all over the top of this let me give you a little close-up action on this one the budweiser racing oh that is so good nice stiff embroidery there again with the embroider here and then of course elliot nascar on the back never been worn i think i will cut the tag off this one and wear this one a little bit and I, actually the same thing goes for the last two this guns and roses pink snapback is got to be a rare hat like this one's got to be super rare it is in some tough condition. Got a fat stain there. It's so dirty, so dusty all over the front. And unfortunately, I hate to see this on vintage snapbacks, but the inside mesh is just crumbling. It's just like flaking out of there. So I might have to do a deep scrub and try to remove all of it because I really want to rock this, keep it in the collection or sell this one on to someone who will appreciate it. Maybe somebody who can give it a little bit of life. Someone definitely rocked hard. And to go with all the true vintage Guns N' Roses t-shirts, like this is the, this, you gotta have the hat. You gotta have the hat to go with it. This is the last hat in the box. The last hat that I bought. Take a guess now at what you think it is. Woo! Same thing as the Guns N' Roses hat. It's just like a 90s patch sewn on steel wheels tour of 1989 that is insane this hat has seen some action you can guarantee that i love the history of this thing it's got some it's got some serious staining signs of wear on the on the top and on the brim if you flip it over to the underside the undercarriage isn't too terrible um just a little sweat stains i can get those out insane hat i've really been tackling some of the grail t-shirts that i've been that i've been wanting uh, i just got my elton john designed by Gianni Versace t-shirt. The next t-shirt that I want to buy that's a little pricey is the uh, is a Rolling Stones t-shirt. There's one specifically uh, collab with Budweiser that I gotta have. But man, this hat is just something else. What a piece of history though. These are the type of things that I love to actually collect and hold on to. So again, big thank you for the hat lot. I'm gonna try to clean most of them up and resell them on. These two by far gotta be the heavy hitters of the lot. They're just in really tough condition. I'm gonna try my best to clean them up, use my little gentle hands and work my magic a little bit. Let me know what your favorite hat was down in the comments section. Um, again, hey, shout out to you if you've been paying attention to this video, if you've been keeping track. How many times I sneakily switched my hat. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. I've been loving the momentum of YouTube lately. And I'll see you guys on the next one.